Hey YouTubers, it's your buddy Platt here. And today I'm going to be drinking a beer from Lagunitas, a Pilsner. Um, this is the Lagunitas Imperial Pils. It's a part of a seasonal uh, line they do. Uh, it comes out generally mid-summer. Uh, it being Imperial, that means it's going to be a bigger beer, a little higher alcohol content. Um, we generally think of the term as like Imperial Russian Stouts. And that's where the term kind of came from um, to impress the czars of Russia. The term imperial just means a higher alcohol content beer, usually a little more hops, just a, a bigger variety of that beer than this being a Pilsner. Uh, going over the numbers, this is an 8.6 ABV beer. We have uh, 57 IBUs, and the original gravity is 1074. Uh, so let's give her a try. Nice little uh, white head, nice light golden color, Ooh, plenty of grassy notes, the, the hops definitely pop out. Mm, yeah, tropical, grassy, yeah, you definitely get the grassy notes on that, let's give her a try. The malt sweetness definitely punches the front of your tongue, um, but the hop bitterness hits, hits the back. That's a real good example of a Pilsner style beer. They're, they're lighter body, similar to a lot of lagers, but they have a little extra hop punch compared to you know, a domestic light lager or some of the uh, other European style lagers. Um, very nice. Let me. You can definitely tell with the maltiness. This is a uh, bigger than normal beer. You can pick up the extra alcohol, but a nice drinker. Uh, very good hot punch. Um, the carbonation, the head is nice retention. Overall, it's a pretty good beer. I'll give it one more try. Hmm. Now you heard me use terms like ABV, IBU, original gravity. And if you're just new to home brewing, craft beer, whatever, you don't quite know those terms. And a great way to learn about the technical uh, terms in beer, whatever, is to get into home brewing. And if you've seen some of my videos, there's a lot of kits out there, whatever, to get you going. But I want to suggest a book today. Uh, some I found in Barnes & Noble, just home brew beer book very simple uh has a lot of pictures inside and just breaks it down starts you off with kit beers and then gets you into partial mash and some all grains tons of recipes in here but also a little uh beer style guide you know kind of lets you know the difference between porters and box and barley wine and just really goes over the basic this is uh this is a uh, a great kind of newbie's guide. It's not going to get into a lot about decoction mashing and certain things like that or soldering uh, items on for your uh, brew kettle like you would get in a more advanced book. But this, uh, if you're new to the idea of home brewing, want to get into home brewing, I suggest this book. You can find it at uh, Barnes and Noble and also on Amazon. One little key thing: this is uh, this is written by a British home brewer. And uh, all the recipes are going to be metric measurements, but they give you a key to convert everything over into gallons for you. But, like I said, if you want to learn brewing, get get into, or if you want to learn about microbrews, beers, all the terminologies, get into home brewing. And, uh, like I said, find you a book like this to get you started, and uh, we'll answer a lot of those questions for you, and it'll help you along growing as a home brewer. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe down below. Also, uh, feel free to comment and share these videos. And if you have any questions or comments, you can also contact me through the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.